Good morning. Today's Friday, December 10th, and it is time for our daily dose of good news. John the Baptist was the son of Elizabeth and Zechariah. John ate very different food than we're used to eating. He ate honey and locusts, which were like grasshoppers. John got people's attention by shouting at them. John had an important message from God, and that message was that Jesus is coming. John preached to the people and told them similar things that Jesus would later tell other people. Take care of the poor, repent and turn away from your sins. God forgives everyone. When people asked John what they should do, he said that they should give away their coats. The tax collectors should only collect what is theirs. Soldiers should not extort money, but be satisfied with only what was theirs. John baptized people in the Jordan River. John wanted everyone to be clean of their wrongdoings and turn their lives to God. John called all people to prepare for Jesus because Jesus wants all people to be a part of his kingdom. And now I'll read from the Spark Story Bible, the story of John the Baptist. You can find this on page 234 to page 239 or in the Bible, in Luke chapter three, verses one through 18. John the Baptist. John was an unusual man. He had lots of hair and a long beard. His clothes looked like his face. They too were furry and hairy. His clothes were made of camel's hair, held together with a leather belt. John ate strange foods, including wild honey and locusts, a kind of grasshopper, yuck. God gave John an important job. His job was to tell people that Jesus was coming and help them get ready to believe what Jesus would teach them. John knew the things Jesus would tell people were the most important things in the world. When he taught people, John stood by the river and yelled out, Hey, all of you, tell God you're sorry for your sins. Turn your life around and act in ways that are good and honest. Then he would turn to another group and shout, Are you listening? This is important. Jesus is coming. He is the Messiah. He will save all of us. Day after day, John continued teaching, preaching, and crying out so people would listen. Many people came to hear what John had to say about Jesus. There were rich and poor people, honest and dishonest people, nice and not so nice people. Some people listened to John, some people didn't. Some people said, that man must be a messenger from God. Some said, he is really odd. I'm getting out of here. Many people believed the message John told. Those people said, I am sorry for my sins. I want God to forgive me. To each, John said, God does forgive you. He baptized those people in the river. The people started calling him John the Baptist. John the Baptist had done a good job. The people were ready to hear the message Jesus would bring. A Bible verse that can help us remember this story is, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. That's from Luke chapter three, verse four. Say that again with me. Prepare the way of the Lord and make his paths straight. And now, would you please pray with me? We give you thanks, O God, for your servant, John the Baptist. Help us to hear his message to change the things in our lives that need changing so we can be as prepared as possible for Jesus. Amen. I hope you are enjoying the season of Advent. I look forward to seeing you at Sunday school, in worship, online, or in person.
Have a great day. Bye-bye.